Welcome everybody. In this video lecture, we'll be learning about symmetric and skew symmetric determinants. So let's get started. Symmetric determinant. In a symmetric determinant, in a symmetric determinant, the main thing is a of i j is equals to a of j i for all i and j. So a, skew, a symmetric determinant is basically a determinant where a of i j will be equals to a of j i. So let me explain this. So we have determined a g f. This will be g b h. This will be f h c. So so now we will show you a one one which is equals to a. Now a two two is equals to b, and now a three three is equals to c. So let me do it again. A one two is equals to a two one, and is equals to g. A one two, a two one. A of one three is equals to a of three one is equals to f. A of two three is equals to a of three to h. So in a symmetric determinant, a of i j will be equals to a of j i, and basically the diagonal principal diagonal element will never change. It will remain the same. So this is our symmetric determinant. So let us move on to skew symmetric determinant. Skew symmetric determinant. In a sorry, in a skew symmetric determinant, it is almost same. Just a of i j is equals to minus of a of j i for all i and j. So let me take a determinant a is equals to. You can take any determinant zero, g minus f. It will be minus g zero h. It will be f minus h zero. So we see here that a of three one is equals to f, which will be equals to a of minus one three, which is minus f. Similarly, a of one two is equals to g is equals to minus a of two one is equals to minus g, and h uh, a of two three is equals to h is equals to a of minus three two equals to minus h. Now there are some key points to remember. Note in a skew symmetric determinant. The principal diagonal will always be zero. Will always be zero. So this is our first point. Now, second point: the value of a third-order determinant in a which is odd order, which is Odd order will always be zero, and the value of a even order determinant will always be a perfect square. Will always be a perfect square. So this is it. And so, let me show you why the determ the principal diagonal element is zero. Suppose we have a of one one is equals to a of minus one one. So this will be a of one one plus a of one one is equals to zero. Two a of one one is equals to zero. A one one is equals to zero. Similarly, we can do for a two two and a three three. So if you have any problems comment below and if you did like my video subscribe to my channel 
for more videos thank you